James Foster is meticulously calculated, both in the planning and execution of his runs. James embodies, you get out what you put in, because no one puts in more thought and calculation. That's what allows him to pull off these insane and innovative tricks. James Foster, The Thinker. My name is James Foster, I'm 31 years old from Redlands, California. I think to be an action sports athlete, you have to have a very particular mindset and you have to be driven. You have to set goals for yourself and you know break things down to be able to achieve those goals and you gotta be super determined and you gotta never, ever, ever let failure hold you back because you're gonna fail more than you're gonna win. Figuring out how to do a trick and how to make it work and how to not screw it up, it's everything. You can do something nobody's ever done before, you gotta break it down, figure out how to do it, figure out the best way to do it, and then when you screw it up, you gotta go back, see what you screwed up, and make adjustments and fix it until it works. If I'm doing a trick, I try to put myself on my bike, go through the trick in my head, then drop in and do it. I like to try to do things that not a lot of people do or people haven't done before, because once somebody else does it, I'm like, well, somebody else already did it. You know, I wanna do something new. I wanna be original. Ramp design is seriously everything. I've been to contests where the ramps are, are crap, the contest sucks. If you put the time in to make sure the ramps are perfect, to make sure everything is as good as it possibly can be, the riding level just keeps going up and up and up, and the evolution of ramp design is what's allowed us to push BMX riding and freestyle motocross as far as it's come. For different tricks, you need different ramps. Some tricks, you really need a ramp built specifically for that style of trick to make it happen. Like the big giant super kicker steep ramp, you know, it's a perfect ramp for big, crazy, gnarly tricks that people 10 years ago thought would never be possible. I think Oberto's motto, you get what you put in, means exactly that. You put in the time and the effort and the results speak for themselves. Be sure to check out all the episodes and see for yourself which athlete gives the best advice.